Yo, yo, yo. What's up? It's your boy, Isaac Anzu. I'm back from the dead, from the head of the bed, where I was uh, chilling out, hanging out with my friends on the secret side of East End. You know, the secret side of East End. Listen, <clears throat> I'm the lyrical, clerical, chimerical VTuber, and I'm here to say... <laughs> Oh my gosh. In, in instantly fanfare. What's up, Nico? Sure has been a while. Mm. It sure has. Congratulations on getting your button. Um Yeah, welcome. Ah, it's me, Isaac Ansu. On the on the tube, on the twitch dot the TV. Uh <laughs> I ignore this scary looking guy here. Uh, I, I don't know what's happening. You missed me? Oh, I missed you too. It's been really rough recently. Uh, <laughs> uh, we we moved to a brand new apartment, and it is. So nice, except everything has been thrown into to chaos, and all my routines are broken, and all of my uh, ideas are falling away from me, falling away from me, beating me down, beating me, beating. I can't sing. I can't sing uh, on the internet. That would be silly. Oh no, I know. Uh. But in addition to that, um, I also have been coming down off of my Depression meds, because apparently depression meds are not supposed to be forever. They are supposed to be, uh, you know, an aid, an aid to get you through the hard times. And, and I've got to be honest, this entire time I have been streaming has been kind of hard times. I started streaming uh, I mean, like everyone else in the pandemic. Um, but that's also when I lost my job unceremoniously and I started going to therapy. And um, then when I moved to Germany, uh, you know, my entire social circle was sent into a horrible spiral of upheaval and destruction. And... Um, uh, yeah, and then <laughs> what wouldn't you wouldn't you know it? I felt really depressed, so I started on these depression medications. Maybe that's why my meds feel like they're not working. Yeah, it's not supposed to be a forever thing. Not only can your body get used to it and kind of like uh no longer be affected by it. But they're also like addictive. <laughs> Who would have thunk? I know, right? Incredible, incredible insight here on the Isaac Azu channel, which also is not playing music. Why? I'm a musician. Why am I not playing music? What do you want to listen to today? You know, what we're going to listen to. We're going to listen to the complete Chopin Nocturnes. Uh, let's turn that shit. On. Is it loud? No. <laughs> Alexa, play falling away from me. I, I'll be honest. I really like Horn, and I know they're the rap rock band of 
uh they're like they're like one of the cringier rap rock bands of the 2000s but damn like the rhythmic vocals and the slap electric bass and the thick guitar sounds and the just layered rhythms and uh interesting like vocal stuff going on like and lyrical stuff is kind of it's it's kind of sick like don't look down on corn Corn is so good though see taste you have taste that's 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 the real indicator do you like corn that's how we know (laughs) um And falling away from me, low key, mid key, high key, love their cover of "Kidnap the Sandy Claws." Well, and I mean, "Nightmare Before Christmas" music is also just a uh, peak. <laughs> All hail, mighty sorry, is the king of full HD streaming. It's working. Six thousand kilobytes per second. And not a single dropped frame. The internet's back, baby. I'm full power streaming. Also, we're talking about the band Corn. Do you know the band Corn with a K? Corn with a K. That's what they call themselves. Um, falling away from me, definitely. What a what a what a strange song. It it premiered on South Park. And it's just like a really, really good song. I don't know. What am I? What was I talking about? How do we get on corn? Low key, blast corn. That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah. So now that I'm like being more social and I have a job and I have a nice apartment with good internet and I have, um, well, soon, soon I'm going to have like full-time pay and we'll be out of credit card debt, which will be awesome. And we'll be, in this new apartment, which has enough space for us to like breathe and live and exist. And my, my cat will stop throwing up out of nervousness. Uh, yeah, soon, soon the, the need for depression medication will be, will be over. And So my psychiatrist recommended that I start cutting back on my depression medication. And the symptoms are, the symptoms of withdrawal are pretty rough. (laughs) Ah, yes, you made a joke. Are they full metal? They're, they're, They're more like, they're more like hard rock with rap elements, I guess, is what uh, with rap and funk elements, hard, hard, hard rock with rap and funk elements. So you can tell why I like them. Right. <laughs> I like the funk. I like the rap. Honestly, this week is so fucked. Lamau, I miss you. Huh? Oh, I, I, you can. Listen, this isn't the the type of stream where we um, shy away from talking about. This isn't the type of channel, well, where we shy away from talking about sad stuff. You just have to have the no expectation that I can do anything about it, okay? (laughs) No free subs, no... uh, I, I can do ASMR hugs, though. Have you had an ASMR hug before? Um, I learned about this watching an ASMR stream. 
let me turn off my noise filter so that the ASMR hug works. So basically, I just like get up real close and hug the microphone, and I just say, mm. "That's an a a ASMR hug." And the, the energy just passes through the microphone and hits you square in the heart, and then everything just starts to starts to crumble. All your facades, all your all your strength just melts away, and and you're you're given into the big old mm, fluffy chimera hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just need a new dose or ones or to up my dose for real. Um, yeah, it can it it can help. It can help to change on occasion, especially if you still need it. The goal for me is to not need it anymore. But listen, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is even though I don't need the medication anymore, the withdrawal symptoms are real and. Oh boy, it's been a tough week. Tough, 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 tough week. Not to mention that because we moved across town, we're now in a different part of Berlin. So I have to change all my shopping places. I have to change where I get food. And the nice thing about that is that there is a, a pretty a pretty nice grocery store near us. Yay. The unnice thing about that is that I have to relearn the entire damn grocery store. And also when the busy hours are, and also I have to download a new grocery store app. And also um I'm pretty sure I got food poisoning from from something last night that we were eating, so. <laughs> you have the perfect spot to cure depression? Uh, is it that beach that you showed me on, on Discord? Because I wouldn't say no. That said, um, later this month, uh, my wife and I are planning on traveling to Ireland. <laughs> that spot is the strip club. No. <laughs> Zoloft is not a spot. Zoloft is a is a a, a magical substance. <laughs> Hire a personal assistant. I've thought about it. I've thought about it in the past. Um There are definitely things that I could use just like someone to um, do the logistics for. Like, we have so much shit going on uh, with our like Germany visa paperwork and insurance and taxes and planning trips and all this sort of stuff. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. When you see your money burn, your mind comes to its fucking says. That has been my exclusive experience at at strip clubs. I've gone a few times to a strip club, and it's always like, oh, this this could be fun, and then like three hundred dollars later, I'm like, oh yeah, I shouldn't do this. <laughs> I shouldn't be here. Uh, goodbye. It's... <laughs> that's, that's, that's my only experience in strip clubs, is uh, going there and losing money and then being like, wait, wait a second. Why? What? <laughs> $300 later is wild, but... I wish I could con I wish I could convey that um at the time it felt normal 
I mean, like, listen. Right now, there's a lot going on in my life. We have had to pay a lot of stuff for this move. I'm, I've got, uh, yeah, I guess it'll officially be like uh, thousands of dollars of credit card debt uh, as of as of uh, Monday. <laughs> as of Monday, when the bill comes due and I can't pay all of it. Um, It was a different time of my life. I I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I promise. I did I don't I don't want to go to a strip club, man. All because the strip clubs surprise so can hold yourself. No, 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 no. The thousands of dollars of credit card debt is not because of strip clubs. Don't don't conflate the two. Don't get it twisted. I'm not in <laughs> I swear I'm not in debt because of strip clubs. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly, if you if you really want to know the the reason, um, it's it's because um, we had to put down a deposit on this apartment very suddenly uh, and also pay taxes, which ended up being a lot. And also um, pay for this trip, which I mean, <laughs> it's another wedding. We have to go to another wedding in the States Every year there's been a wedding. Every year we've been in Germany. Someone gets married in the summer where we have to fly back to the United States. And it's like $3,000 for the tickets alone every time because transatlantic flights, they are expensive. It's Linda. I don't know who you're talking about. I only have one lady in my life, and that's Lumi. <laughs> oh my god! You said put down, and I got so scared. No, 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 no. We're not. We're not gonna. We're not gonna get rid of blue. Don't worry. Although, <laughs> to add to add uh, more stress to the pile, blue did throw up this morning. Um, probably out of nervousness. Uh, so, you know how it be. Cats get nervous, throws up. Speaking of weddings, I sometimes think, if it were up to me, how would I plan my son's wedding? Hmm. Well, I know, speaking from experience, um... It was very helpful to have my parents help with uh, setting up and funding the wedding, but they were very gracious and let us plan the wedding that we wanted. And it turned out to be very, very, very beautiful and, and lovely. And we made my dad cry. Haha, <laughs> take that, dad. Revenge, finally. Now you get to be the one that cries. <laughs> um. Don't read into that. Uh, so, yeah, it's true. Weddings are a lot of fun, and you should look forward to them. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like as a parent, it's better to kind of listen and let your kids kind of take the initiative and in doing do planning things on their own. You know. That's so real, honestly, you and me both blue. Well, I mean, the little guy has been just uh, thrown around so much recently. Like, yeah, 
of course, we are in a bigger space. He's got more room to run around and play. But also, I think he was finally like getting used to the old space. And and now he's in a brand new space and everybody's routine is disrupted and he is such a creature of routine. He is so scheduled. And I've been sleeping in because I'm exhausted and not doing things like, uh, you know, I've had to go to the store on different days of the week and uh, you know, like I'm skipping social events and my wife is now, we're closer to her work. So she's leaving and getting home at slightly different times. So the poor, poor guy has, has just been completely thrown for a loop. So it's going to, it's going to be a little while before he's back in, back into routine. Um, how's your relationship with your father? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, we, we talk when he remembers, uh, I think it would be an exclusive close family event, flying to a tropical country resort to have a destination wedding of sorts to film you ain't it. No, no, not at all. Actually, I think that if you're going to do kind of like the, the big fancy, fancy wedding, it's better when it's a close family event. Um, for my wedding, we had a, a family friend who had a mansion that they lived in, right? <laughs> just just happens to be a, a mansion owner. And we asked if we could borrow it for the for the wedding. And it was just just immediate family. And uh it was absolutely wonderful. And uh they even had a piano there. And this is the cute part that uh Got any pictures to share? <laughs> ah, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to show pictures of the the real, the the human human face of of Isaac. The chimera face is is all I'm good for right now. No worries. No worries. Uh. But they had a piano there. And so Lumi and I decided that we were going to write our own piano duet and perform it at the ceremony. And we did. And uh, it went really well. And we still have that piano duet. And we still have the, uh, the sheet music and the recording. <laughs> Me and Blue both stressing out about schedules changing and going at speeds a little too fast. I know, the poor little guy. I mean, I'm I'm stressing out too. Uh, it's just when I throw up, people assume that I'm like sick and not stressed, right? Even though, you know, <clears throat> maybe this is TMI, but I don't really ever throw up. I think the last time I threw up was in high school, and that was when I took some medication without food like you know explicitly how you're not supposed to take medication <laughs> i don't really throw up when i'm sick um I, it comes out other places anyway uh <laughs> stop it that's so cute oh hell now i want to see the video it was super cute it was a really cute wedding and um my wife is really into origami, so um, she had um, she made all of the flowers for the for the wedding. So we had hand painted wine bottles with uh, origami flowers, um, and we also had a what would you even call that? Like a garland, a boa, like this long, long stretch of, of 
wire and and flowers and uh we hung it behind us um yeah that was actually <laughs> that was that was uh before so so um it's kind of it's kind of ironic but my wife folded all those flowers and her hands hurt obviously from overuse but she didn't have any like lasting impact or injuries and then when her work asked her to like double her workload uh she got a repetitive stress injury and had to stop working and it's like hmm hmm you think like maybe maybe the the fact is like she actually has like really really good hands and uh the fact that this sudden change of work was the real culprit hmm 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 <laughs> i used to throw up when i didn't want to go to school good old days well that was that was i think the thing like i felt sick i took some medication i didn't eat breakfast i threw up i got to stay home <laughs> and then the next day uh my parents made sure that i did eat and of course, then I had to go to school. <laughs> I was going to say how I threw up the day before my dad's passing anniversary, but that's a little bit more than stress. Yeah. It's, I don't know. It feels, it feels like your, your body has different, I don't know, buttons, different um methods of explaining things to you and and sometimes it feels like it's you know the subtlest of hints and how how could you ever like oh yeah like my energy is slightly off today how how am i supposed to relate that to uh you know this like this change in my diet that i didn't even realize was happening right and other times it's like oh i'm sick I threw up. <laughs> I noticed. Thank you, body. You you told me. I'm stressed out. I threw up. Got it. All right. Sir Isaac, I'll budge. Got some office work at hand. I'll check back later. Well, thanks for stopping in, Dilu. Good luck with the office work. Uh, I know it's midday for you, so make sure you get some work done. That's how I do it, too. I try to, try to chill in the morning and then get my work work done during the day uh garland is probably right almost threw up yesterday though oh no i hope uh hope you're okay listen <laughs> throwing up is not the normal thing to do <laughs> was there's that scene from zoolander uh where the reporter girl is like, I have, I had bulimia. And Derek is like, oh, you can read minds? <laughs> like, no, I, I would purge after I ate. And then them being male models, they're just like, oh, that's normal. <laughs> Everybody does that a little bit. And she's like, no, it, that's, it's not normal. That's a disease. And they're like, oh, come on. Uh, Zoolander is definitely a film of its time, but it is, is very funny. My knuckles are bruised now, so ouch, but still better than barfing. Did you punch? Did you punch your sickness away? Bruise my knuckles. Bruise my knuckles is such a good evocative line my knuckles are bruised from the memories of you lost my shit yesterday oh well tis the consequences of my own actions <laughs> um yeah wow still zero dropped frames nice high definition isaac 
How's the how's the mic quality? Am I coming in clear? Am I coming in too hot? It was a sad stress almost barf. I am sorry about that. I hope you're feeling better today. Ugh. It's Man, it's tough because I've got all sorts of, you know, personal issues. Sometimes it feels like I do just want to throw up and just ah, everything is so overwhelming. The music is a little louder than you, though. Well, it's it's Chopin, so it's it's a uh, highly variable Highly variable. I can turn it down a little bit though. There we go. Lumi just came over and, and added my my shoulder and that feels nice. <sighs> yeah, you know, it's like <laughs> Yes, Lumi's here for a little bit, uh, probably just to eat breakfast and, and chill before work. But it's it's like, man, I don't want another, like, sad stress trauma. I don't want another medical health adventure. I don't want another... I don't want another thing to put on my list. Um, and yet the the <laughs> the years start coming and they they don't stop coming. Why why do the years get to not stop coming? And I should be the one to not stop coming. That's the real question. But somebody once told me that uh, prostate orgasms are um, <laughs> the true shit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wow. Okay. Listen. It, it, let's just let's just let's just make jokes, right? Isn't that the isn't that the secret? <laughs> isn't that the secret? We we should do. Uh, we should do All Star, but instead of All Star, it's about some dude's first gay experience. And uh, yeah, he takes it in the butt and then he starts coming and then he don't stop coming and he don't stop coming. Uh, help. <laughs> I, okay, okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. You should give her and Blue the biggest hugs for me and yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will. Um, what happened to hello? How are you? <laughs> I don't know. We're also supposed to be working on this, uh, meow music video here, but is that happening actually? Is it? Bonding over our trauma and not wanting to having to deal with all this mental health shit. And you're like, hmm, but prostate orgasms. Well, you know, they say that. <laughs> That's awesome. Why, thank you. 
Um, I need to figure out how to do more with it. Because we have, what was it? Like, let me go to the uh, compositing. No. Oh no, it's still in it's still in layout. It's just in video sequencer. Right. This is uh 2968 frames. Pocket square enthusiast? Have you noticed my pocket square? Have you seen the little pocket square here upon uh, my left breast pocket? It is exquisite, is it not? <laughs> um, yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, so I was talking on, uh, I was, I've been thinking about uh, a truly a revolutionary. I'm thinking I'm thinking that uh this whole incorporation nation thing, this whole business Isaac Anzu, is kind of it's kind of starting to to run its course, right? I'm thinking I'm thinking soon I will <laughs> thinking that's dangerous. I I too like to live dangerously. Um Soon we will need to change our genre once again. We were we were winter Isaac for a little while. We had a, a summer of business Isaac, but fall is fall is quickly approaching. And it has been almost six months since we started business Isaac. It's too long. Too long, I say. Uh we need a new aesthetic. And I think so. So my first thought was I have been wanting to do Cowboy Isaac, you know, just a little bit of um, a little bit of a yeehaw. I believe it's time to get back to Dil Dilf Librarian Isaac, the classic. Um, yeehaw Isaac, you say. Well, that's the thing, right? We can go back to Library and Isaac for a little while, and I think we should. But I do want to I do want to try out more themes. And as much as I was thinking of Yeehaw Isaac or something like that, I think it's more of a summer thing, right? Cowboy Isaac Summer. Um <laughs> do my do my instead of hot girl summer it's cowboy summer everybody every next year i'm calling it 2025 is the year of cowboy summer show off your show off your boots with the spurs <laughs> she got them horse riding jeans boots with the spurs <laughs> the whole ranch was looking at her. She hit, <laughs> she rode that horse. Next thing you know, <laughs> hot girl summer is out. Yeehaw summer is in. Let's go. I'm a trend setter. Um, we will, and and we'll all have to talk in a in a deep southern drawl. We'll have to have to really uh, accentuate our words. I said, I said, <laughs> a foghorn leghorn. Is Lumi on board with, are you on board with Cowboy Summer? You want to have a cowgirl yeehaw summer next year? 2025 yeehaw summer? Lumi has given me the middle finger. <laughs> Um, but, uh, the other thing I was thinking of was punk rock. 
Looney says she's up for that. Um, and much like how I have a business suit, do you want to see the? Do you want to see the secret? The secret of the business suit. Uh, I'll show you for just a second. It's boom, boom. It's an overlay. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Lumi has given me the middle finger. What a woman. I know, right? She's great. Uh, <laughs> what a woman. You assume so? Yes. Uh, much like the business suit is an overlay, if I was to go punk rock, I would want punk rock Isaac overlay. However, unlike the business suit, where essentially I just found a image of a business suit and and put it on my model i don't think that i could find an appropriate punk get up and that really fits over my model because because exactly black eyeliner right it wouldn't just be the clothing right i would want it to include like eyeliner and earrings and maybe like a lip piercing i don't know so that's the thing right it's it would be a very complex overlay it's okay it's okay this is why canva is your friend i do love canva i made i i've made i've made some stuff in canva uh i also have gimp i i, I could i could do it myself but i'm starting to think that it is complex enough that I might want to, I might want to ask a friend to um, do a uh, a custom overlay for me. I could make you punk rock, and I'll make you punk rock, and then we'll do punk rock karaoke. Punk rock karaoke, yes, we could be both punk rockers, uh, and actually. <laughs> punk rock yes Lumi's here can you hear her on the microphone is the microphone powerful enough I know I have a little bit of, of noise projection on in the background um, a little okay well she was speaking kind of slow and low because it's the morning <coughs> but my thought was um, I should like make a, a what would what would a uh, Isaac Punk Rock image board look like that I could give to someone as inspiration board? Uh, you know, because because it's not just <laughs> it's not just punk, right? There's the hallmarks of punk. But you want it to be like that specific nerd brand of punk because that's what I do. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> Y'all are slay queening. Why, thank you. Oh, thank you. So I think what I want to do for this. Blue with a mohawk. Yes. I, I I I I totally underestimated the potential of giving Blue a punk rock outfit as well. Actually, sometimes he does have a mohawk when he gets super stressed out. The hair in the middle of his back stands straight up, and he has a little little uh, mohawk. Spiky hair blue for the win. I will say, so in college, I was in a theater fraternity, but it was a social fraternity. So it was co-ed and it was, it, it wasn't a social fraternity. It was an academic fraternity. That's what I'm trying to say. And it was co-ed and we had, uh, a bunch of events throughout the year. And at the end of each semester, we had a big dance. Now, it's theater, 
right? So <laughs> they they had a theme for each dance. And in the first the first uh semester, the theme was usually pretty goofy and you know, goofy ah uh, theme. And you could dress up as much as you want for this dance. And so so uh <laughs> gay possibly mildly toxic frat house. Let's go. They didn't have a frat house. I'm sorry. Uh <laughs> we just had a meeting room in the student union. That was our base of operations and also the the local pizza place that we went to every week after the meeting that uh eventually went out of business <laughs> when after i had left <gasps> ah, the college town i was in changed yeah unfortunately uh that said we did throw sick parties such as such as um costume parties we threw costume parties and um, uh, give me back my timeline, please. Timeline. Right? Is that what I want? No, I want the timeline. Sure. You'd be too powerful for a frat house. I'd rule the frats. <laughs> Lord of the frats. The one, the one, one, uh, frat to rule them all. <laughs> uh, so the, anyway, the, the fall, uh, you got there, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's 7.50 a.m. I have been talking for almost an hour with no progress on my on my animation. This is not how I expected this stream to go. Khan would be proud of me. It's okay. It's hard being funny. It is. I'm I'm doing my best. Anyway, this 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 fraternity had two two big dances. And the fall semester dance was super casual and you could dress up however you want. And it was just about having a good time and uh, getting together and celebrating the end of the semester, right? The spring semester dance was a formal dance. And so you didn't dress up. Um, and it was more about like sending off the seniors and stuff like that. Well, <laughs> the first year I missed the, the first year I didn't, I didn't find the, the fraternity really until the second semester, till the spring semester. So I missed, I missed the first dance. And I didn't know how formal slash, um, uh dress up the second dance should be the theme of the formal dance was a world of pure imagination so kind of like willy wonka themed you know like uh, uh <laughs> be, be be like in in candy land the ma magical world made of candy uh and and be all sweet and sugary and send the seniors off with with a, a beautiful kind of feeling. I didn't know how formal or costumey I should be. So I decided to split the difference. I wore an all black suit, tie and shirt, all black. And uh, I did my hair up in black Liberty spikes, uh, to kind of represent the idea of black licorice. 
I was the only person with anything <laughs> to do with the theme. And people were like, Isaac, what the fuck are you doing with your hair? I'm like, yeah, I didn't understand the assignment. <laughs> Yes, Lumi laughed at that. <laughs> oh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh, honey. Oh, no. <laughs> um, and yeah, I got some pretty sick pics of me with Liberty Spikes. So maybe maybe that's but let's see. Now I have so much hair that Liberty Spikes would be like too big. Too big. I would look like a fucking uh, sea urchin, as opposed to the Statue of Liberty, right? If I did a mohawk, it would be like a, one of those like what are they called the frilled dinosaurs, Dinonychus. Big frill. Let's just search big frill dinosaur. Big frill. We want the big frill. Oh, the frill, frill is frill is something different than what I'm thinking of. Go big or go home. I'm telling you what. Big fan dinosaur, Demetrodon. Yeah, I would look like a Demetrodon. Um, the sailback reptile. Um. Here. This is what I would look like. I look like this guy. Is this is this what you want? Is it the punk rock Isaac that we all want? Maybe. <laughs> Okay, he's full as fuck. Well. Yeah, listen, we can read all about uh, Demetrodon. <clears throat> the most prominent feature of Demetrodon is the large neural spine sail on its back, formed by elongated spines extending from the vertebrae. It is an obligate quadrupod. It could only walk on four legs. I, I actually love... I love the way that this um, Wikipedia article is written uh, because they they know that parents are going to be reading this article uh, to their children. Demetrodon is often mistaken for a dinosaur or is a contemporary of dinosaurs in pop culture, but it became extinct some 40 million years before the advent of dinosaurs. <gasps> no way. Hipster dinosaur. He was a dinosaur before. Uh, it was cool. <laughs> Demetra don your fucking crown and go all out. That's so true. You said, sometimes I'll have a great fucking joke, but I stutter so hard the moment passes. Timing is really important to comedy. But that's that's one of the nice things about modern comedy is that there's a lot of places you can do it via text right and so you can kind of work the timing into the text and not have to worry about performing the timing perfectly in the moment like uh the classic like subreddits like uh yes 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 no or no 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 yes or um didn't see it coming or stuff like that, right? So apparently this is like uh, an apex predator. Dimitron was probably one of the apex predators of the Sisuralian Sisu, Sisu ecosystems. Oh, thank you. Seven out of 10 for that burp. My protein protein shake burp. Why, thank you. Uh, sound it all out. <laughs> Listen, it, it was in the cis ecosystem. We are we are going to be preying upon the cis. 
can you think of a better dinosaur? <laughs> it's not even a dinosaur. It's a um, mammal-like reptile. A pre... Stem mammals. Oh, hell yeah. You heard of stem cells? Well, now we're going to be stem mammals. <laughs> oh, look at the look at the old look at the old picture of the Dimetrodon from 1908. Just drawing. He's kind of dopey. He's cute. <laughs> It's so chonky. What a friend. <gasps> Look at this guy. <laughs> Cute. Now, I believe that when it comes to uh, attractiveness and adoration, a lot of people want different things, right? Like, they often say with attractiveness, you want what you don't have. Like, I'm a very round sort of fellow, and I super am attracted to people with, like, skinny waists. Like, midriff season? Mm, good shit. But with adoration, you kind of tend to admire the qualities that you aspire to, that you have, right? Like, that is peak sex appeal, though. I know, right? The, the waist, waist and hips area is, is the just, mm, it's a, you know what I'm saying? Um... <laughs> What you have Lumi is Lumi is flashing her waist at me now. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Slutty waist is like great. Mm, delicious. Agreed. Uh <laughs> what, what a woman. Uh but but with admiration, it's like you see someone who has a similar quality as you. And you're like, yeah, get it. And when this guy see this 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 chunky little friend, and I'm like, look at this dude, get it. Mm. Look at that chunk. If he was if he was friendly, uh, you could just like get a. Well, well, okay. So it's a it's a reptile, right? He is a reptile, so it's cold blooded. So I imagine that this guy would like assuming that he's around the same size as you he would lie on top of you and gather your warmth and because he's so long and chunky he would just kind of like flop and envelop you It'd be like the ultimate weighted blanket right do we have a um That's too big. Uh, do we have a, a... Ah, here we are. Here's, here's a vague outline of a person. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, there's a bunch of different sizes. Incredible. You can get a little tiny baby. Uh, a little tiny baby Dimetrodons. And you can get big old, big old boys. 20 species. Which one? Your favorite dinosaur? Pa, 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 the, 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 the duck one? Lambiosaurus? Ducky? Is Ducky a Lambiosaurus? Lambiosaurus. Long time Sound it out, buddy. <laughs> Try dark mode today. Wikipedia dark mode? No. There's no way. 
Um, three dots. Three dots. Tools. Where's Wikipedia dark mode? I need this in my life. Eh? Eh? Recent changes. Oh, that's not what I want. Appearance. Oh, it's on the, it's the glasses. Dark mode Wikipedia. Why did you waste your time on dark mode for an unreliable source? I, I, I like to think that Wikipedia is as reliable a source as uh, humanity can create. Right. People have a a natural tendency to try to correct things that are wrong. <laughs> and of course, there are things that are very opinionated, but the genius of Lambiosaurus is not. Uh it is ducky. Lambiosaurus. So Let's see if we can find a nice picture. Yeah. Nice life restoration of L. Lambi. Adorable. Adorable. <laughs> yeah. They're really cute in um, the fireplace seat. Um, those should just be right in the 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 right of right of spring from Fantasia. Yes. <laughs> she eaten. Yes, she is. Let's look at the talk page for Lambiosaurus. Good article review. OMG. Man, this is one, this one is looking pretty good for an imminent FA nom nomination. <gasps> Ooh. What to do then? Copy editing? Oh, my upper left axis is getting rotated. What an adventure. <laughs> like, like, look, look at this. There are, there are so many people who are interested in uh, <laughs> not my upper left axis. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I, can I do that in time? Wait a minute. What? Hold up. Hola. Oh, okay there. That's that's really all I wanted to do. It's, it's funny, isn't it? Um one moment. My do 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 Yes. I need to go to uh I need I need to log into the Twitch section of my OBS. Yes, I I, I know 
I I'm aware that you use cookies. Get spun. Uh, Lumi, do you do you mind having your upper left axis rotated? Lumi does object to having her upper left axis rotated unnecessarily. Firmly on the ground. Fair enough. <laughs> Here's the Lambia source size comparison. You could absolutely ride one like a horse. Big baby. This is a prime example of poor writing. <laughs> oh, no. I am the lunatic who rewrote this article back in the spring of 2007. It's a bit unfair to call everyone a lunatic when it was pretty much just me, and it's additionally misleading to suggest I am doing it now when it's been done, as far as I'm concerned, since the end of 2007. But I, I digress. You're in the heat of the moment. I'm sorry you don't like the way this article is written. I respectfully submit that this is because we have different reading and comprehension methods and probably basic philosophical differences as well. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Screenshot it, please. Please. Oh, boy. Uh, this is incredible. Uh, Let me, did you write this? No, this is on the talk page. Uh, C.F. Leon was complaining about the article, and apparently Jay Spencer is, uh, <laughs> is, is defending the writing. Oh, my God. The Lambiosaurus talk page is full of drama. Yes! Love that. Um, uh, find in the drama in the Wikipedia talk pages. Uh, blah, blah, blah. If this discussion just boils down to, I don't understand your writing and you don't understand mine, I don't really know where we can go from there. She's hiding something. <laughs> Did you write the Lambiosaurus article, Lumi? No, she says no. Uh, I'm going to, let's see, we need to open this with photos so I can crop out the rest of my screen. <clears throat> Perfect. Let's save that and let's also um, for privacy. Let's just there's gotta be a better way to do this. There we go. Save it and black out CF Leon's. <laughs> uh, CF Leon, you seem to be complaining about readability when I have no idea what your actual complaint is. Could you be more specific? <laughs> CF Leon, can you point out where you were sworn at? People shouldn't be doing that, but I haven't seen it. A quick look at your talk page uh, shows a couple things. It seems like people have been pretty welcoming. I'll ask that you remove the screed about lunatics and poor writing. That's not really appropriate and is somewhat ironic 
considering the typos in the above post. Mm. Got him. Well done. Uh, first Fraun of Ronchester. The article on Lamb being a source was written by someone who has written professionally on Hadrosaurus, so I'm not sure it truly needs many more improvements. It's, it's kind of incredible that uh, in 2010, somebody went on this uh, <laughs> poor writing screed, and then uh, like in 2007, when the person wrote the article that they're complaining about, it was like Awesome, awesome, uh, awesome work, everyone. What happened? What happened? Can we keep going? <laughs> Is there any information? The noise making crest. Is there any more information about this? How the noise would have been made? Its purpose? With no further info, all I can imagine is a kazoo. Is a kaz kazoo. Like, okay, this person is incredible. Hello, fellow Wikipedians. I have just modified one external link on Lambiosaurus. Please take a moment to review my edit. Like, they, they changed one thing and made a post on the talk page. What an absolute champ. Oh, it's the Internet Archive bot. So, of course, they want to... Whoever made the Internet Archive bot is a champ. They're trying to, trying to be transparent. Oh, oh that's some, some choice, choice drama. Choice! Choice Wikipedia talk page drama. <laughs> Me when the noise my crest makes sounds like a kazoo. I wish I had a kazoo. All I have is, well, I don't even have any musical instruments near me. I guess I have drumsticks. I have drumsticks near me right now. That's all. Not on the glass. Okay. Um, I gotta, I gotta post this. I gotta post this Wikipedia talk. Top page drama. It's so good. Um, this streams tutorial is brought to you by 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 Squarespace. The Wikipedia fandom is in shambles. I think the Wikipedia fandom thrives for this kind of stuff. I think I think that if I post this onto like Wikipedia, Twitter they will eat it up. They'll be like, oh my God, finally. Another gem from 2010 has been found. <laughs> it's been 14 years since this discussion happened. Where are we now? Is Lambiosaurus still a poorly written article or is it actually a good article? And the, the whatever his name is, CF, See up what what you made. Is he? Are they done? Did they get did they, did they get deleted? Are they gone? Or or is Lambiosaurus redeemed? Did their did their words bring out the truth about the Lambiosaurus article? And now it is fixed and incredible. <laughs> the dinosaur corny corner of Wikipedia is in shambles. Listen. I I don't doubt in the slightest that that exists. <laughs> um, should we like, I don't know, do stuff? So I went through and I, I made the mouth move for the entire scene, right? Frankly, I'm in shambles. <laughs> that's that's fair. Relatable. Are you leaving for work? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Have a good day at work. I have one task for you. You have a task for me? Mm -hmm. Dishes. Dishes? Oh, I know. The dishes need to be done. Okay. And don't forget your box. You forgot your box. Oh, I did forget to move the box. There's a lot of boxes to move since we're moving. <laughs> the music swells. Lumi is leaving. <laughs> no! Uh, bye, Lumi! <laughs> What's well, a Chopin Nocturne? So, you know, they're all dramatic and shit. Chopin. One of the few good things to come out of France. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We we stand the French mostly for their uh revolution loving this. Um we have a tutorial to watch today. This Rocky video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace. I heard this rumor recently about a secret editor hidden inside Blender that makes animation way easier. What? And I found out on a forum that someone nearby knows all about it. I've been having trouble making characters walk and gesture at the same time, and apparently this secret editor just lets you mix them together and can even help you start and stop walk cycles. I think it's called animation layers like the thing that Maya users talk about. Ah, this must be it. Hello? Who dares make the wizard of animation layers? I have buried myself deep within Blender for eons. And now this you wish to reveal know. me? Don't you understand my power? You should be caring in my presence. Your mind will shatter at the sight of it. I will modify the entirety of your keyframes. I will manipulate times I please. I will mix all of your actions together at my will. Oh, oh. What? I have been found out. W what's going on here? Is animation layers even real? Well, um, kind of, but I really can't do all those things I said. Uh, you can do it with the NLA editor. But people hate it so much, so I thought maybe people would listen if I called it the animation layers instead. Oh. Well, can you show me? Uh, yeah, sure. Here's the documentation. Well, thanks. I'm gonna go and, you know, I'm gonna read this. In Blender, you can save pieces of animation as actions, and the NLA editor, or nonlinear animation editor, lets you take those actions what? and put them together, kind of like how you would with a video editor. You can layer multiple actions on top of each other to combine them, you can put them one after another and transition between them, and you can change the speed of actions, loop them as many times as you want, or add a modifier to lower the frame rate. This sounds like a dream come true for animators, but chances are you either haven't heard of it, or you do know about it and you hate it. So why is that? Why well, is that? the NLA editor gets a bad rap for having a convoluted workflow, a confusing UI, and overall just being poorly designed. And to this I say that I kind of agree. But Blender also thinks this, and they're working on redesigning it to make it easier to use. There was even a lecture about it at the last Blender conference. But please don't wait to learn the NLA editor just because it's changing, because we don't know how long that will take, the concepts involved will still be the same, mm -hmm. and we already have something that works, and it's pretty easy once you get used to it. Plus, if you don't like it, you can try the animation layers add-on that makes the UI a little more like how it is in Maya. <gasps> I'm gonna vibe and sleep to stream, love you man, good luck. Love you too, Niku. Thank you so much for dropping in. It was good to catch up with you. I hope that things uh, start improving for you. Thank you for the lurk. Get good sleep. That's one of the things that... Um, it's one of those things that, that, that humans need. <laughs> As a chimera, I also need sleep. But, but I know that humans need it too. Um... I think what I want to do, so we have a clip here. Essentially, this first part of the the video is is kind of kind of done, right? I don't. Okay. Now that I know what animation layers is. Anyway, I'll show everything I know about the NLA editor as well as examples of how it can be used and workflow ideas. To get these... How to use it. Hold, replace, combine, blending control pad. Okay, so this seems like it would be really good, but maybe not for what I'm doing today. Um, go like that. Uh, what we're doing today is 
we want to basically I want to I want to the the music video to keep coming back to this office scene. Um and while we're in this office scene, um while we're here, I want to do the rest of the animations here. So the question is, what lyrics should use the office scene? And I think to answer that. Exploit it. Swiss cheese, starting to get moldy. You're full of holes, you think that you're holy. Annihilation days, hell of future drawing near. If you make it effortless, the things you love will disappear. You're addicted to the movement of the progress bar. The scroll bar, the drink bar. To gain from the inside. Never let them down, you gotta bury your pride. I think I think when the the chorus comes back in, that's when we want to go back to the office. You gotta bury your pride. So let's give ourselves a little bit of wiggle room. Let's start at thirteen six hundred. You gotta bury your pride. So we're going from 1360 to 1650. So let's start at 1360. And before we have the camera set up, uh, we should Change the lights back to how they were. No longer red. We should um, select the skeleton. Go into pose mode. There we go. So yeah, at thirteen sixty, what do we want him to do during this during this chorus? I think I want him to just dance in the middle of the room. So let's take his let's take his head and um let's see, it's all R right alt G. So now, now he's, let's, let's alt R that as well. So now he's standing straight up. And so let's grab the root bone and just move him to the middle of the room. Okay. So at 1360, he will jump here, essentially. And let's, let's see if we can't do a little dance animation. Uh, so let's, nope. Let's make this a little easier to see. Oh, why is this only only rotating? 
Thank you, thank you, Sari Bot. Sari Bot, so cool. Uh, can we just hide the library? I can't. All right, let's make him do a little dance. Uh, so first off, we are in pose mode. Teddy, dead rats. Hello. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome, Teddy and friends. Teddy and the lab rats. Uh, and Jeff, Jeff the rat. My name is Isaac Anzu, the lyrical, clerical, and chimerical VTuber. Today, uh, we are working on making this fellow do a little dance. Um, what sort of dance should we we have him do? I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's got to be something like a little bit cringy or whatever, uh, because he's like this office guy, you know. Um, but it could be anything. He's prepared to dance. That's our goal. Hello. How was Sea of Stars? What is Sea of Stars? I've heard of this game. Sea of Stars. Ooh, a retro-inspired turn-based RPG. Actually looks very pretty. What's that? That this this animation style has been really popular lately. Uh, kind of like this, um, like cell cell style, uh, owl house faces sort of thing. Uh, you take control of two heroes named Valerie and Zan. Use the power of the sun and the moon to fight against an alchemist. <laughs> I do love worlds that are so low magic that somebody can just be called the alchemist. And that is like a serious threat to the world, right? He just is, he's just your local chemist, but we can't trust him. <laughs> he's the dangerous. <laughs> it's a lot like Chrono Trigger. It's really good. Oh, nice. So I have I have Chrono Trigger on my phone because it's 2024. The future is now. And I've been playing Chrono Trigger every time I have a bunch of free time all in a row, uh, which means basically just when I'm flying, when I when I'm on an airplane. So it's kind of funny. I, I play Chrono Trigger only when I'm changing time zones, right? That said, I haven't finished Chrono Trigger yet. Um, I just got to the part where the frog's backstory is revealed. And we're about to go into the, the Dark Lord's castle. Now you have to remember that because I only play Chrono Trigger when I'm flying, I also haven't played it since, um, <laughs> since February uh, when, I, when I went to the States last. Uh, but I, I am going on a trip this month, so I will be playing more Chrono Trigger. Oh boy. <laughs> slowly but surely, slowly but surely, I will, I will, um, I will, I will do the thing. Now. Here's the question. Why are my bones not rotating the way I wish for them to? Let's just select all and undo all rotations. Yes.
Wait, does that delete my... Okay, cool. Anyway, I'm glad you're enjoying Sea of Stars. Are there any... Can, what's what's the elevator pitch, right? Can you can you tell me why why I I could I could get really into Sea of Stars and become obsessed with it? Is that a thing? Um, okay, something's strange. Things are happening to me. To me, strange things are happening to me. To me. Ah, there we go. So, question. I can I can move it out. Feels a lot like Corona Trigger and it has some great music. I mean, <laughs> hell yeah. Actually, um, you know what? I have the I have some Chopin on right now. Um Let's see, Sea of Stars OST. You can play, um, yeah. Give me a second. Give me a second. Ah, man. I should be able to... Should be able to copy the URL of the soundtrack. and then stream it through VLC. Because VLC is great like that. Although it is a five hour file. It is a five hour OST. Hmm. Because I don't want to, well, it's a video game soundtrack, right? Surely they wouldn't tag it as, as a DCMA thing, right? I mean, you played it on your stream, right? Let's try Let's listen to the Sea of Stars original game soundtrack. Can I do like that? Okay. All right. In the meantime, it's time to time to get this boy down. So let's lower his booty a little bit because if you don't know this about dancing. Uh, you got to lower your booty. That is an incredibly important part of the answer. And then we can... move his, his, his feet out a little bit.
Oh, wait. Sorry, we're not on the right frame. When did that happen? I need to be on frame 1360 if I'm going to do this. Bend the booty down. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 They're using the little plinky synthesizers in the upper register to simulate stars. Pretty cool. Uh, oh, and that's a very Chrono Trigger sound, isn't it? Have you seen Dungeon Meshi or Delicious in Dungeon? He looks like um, Laios trying to intimidate the the basilisk. Blah! Uh, let's. Whoa! No! 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 Let's 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 make his hands into little fists. A little bit more into fists. Another rule of dancing is just put your hands into fists. It helps. When your hands are out. It feels like they're taking up more space, but the... Nobody cares about your hands. You can do whatever the hell you want with your hands when you're dancing. The most important piece of your body that is dancing is the hips. This is Dance Tutorials 101 with Isaac Anzu. Here to help you with your next dance adventure. Uh, let's... Now, let's rotate all these on the individual X axes. Oh, and, and move them into fist, fist formation. Do you like dancing? One of my favorite things is dancing. Uh, so, what we want to do here is rotate this now he's now he's got a little bit of John Arbuckle going on we we want him to to look like John Arbuckle dancing to on the kitchen floor it's imperative Another thing is, keep your hands low, right? I know I just said it doesn't matter what you do with your hands. The Mountain Trip, Death by Eric W. Brown. <laughs> you know, I would love to do a full video game 8-bit soundtrack sometime. I actually have written a lot of music for video games, um, but doing like the full like 8-bit or 16-bit synth soundtrack has to be so fun. Because it's, it's, you know, limitation through... Um, through, uh, whatchamacallit? 
limitation through no creativity through limitation i had it backwards all right so uh let's select all Look at all this. Look at all these things. So many bones. Feel it in my bones. Uh, okay, so we are working on a blah, 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 blah. What's 1650 minus 1360? No, not, not 6150. 1650 minus 1360. We have 290 frames of corpse. Um, 29 is a prime number. <laughs> it's not easily divisible by anything. Shoot. What about 28? 28 is easily divisible by seven? Yeah. So if we make these each about 40 frames is that right then we'll get a nice almost so what we want to do is on frame 360 we want to select everything and copy and then on frame 1400 we want to paste an X flipped pose. Which it turns out. You gotta bear your pride. Is too slow. So let's try a 20 frame cycle. And also, we need to reset the origin of this skeleton. Uh, let's see. Yo, the the sliding sine wave synth is super Chrono Trigger. So it's obviously like directly inspired right there's there's no there's there's no like way it is can i can i um can i go to object mode real quick and just uh select the body Select the skeleton and effect only origin. I just want the origin to be oh ye gods. That is scary. Apparently a lot is still near modifier because he is going crazy. I may have done things out of order. Let's watch this. Some Eldritch Horror shit. All right. Ignore that. <laughs> Back to pose mode. Wait, or can we do this in edit mode? Can I not move the origin? These are tied to the origin. Oh. oh. 
absolutely wild. Okay. So we need to go back to 1380 and just move it over a little bit. Gotta bury your pride. Good, good. All right. So now what we can do But I mean, that's the point of the, the early game JRPG soundtrack, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy out there trying to save the world. Or be yourself. You're just trying to save yourself. But then at the end, you try to save the world. That's how they do it. That's how they get you. You thought this was about personal growth and discovery? No, it's about the god that's about to end the world. Okay, so let's copy. Fourteen eighty, paste. Go to fifteen twenty, paste. Go to fifteen sixty, paste. Go to sixteen hundred, paste. Go to sixteen forty, paste. So now let's watch. Yeah. Okay. So, first things first, uh, we don't actually want the feet to move, right? So, we can literally just delete these keyframes on the feet, and then the feet should not move. But we do want to go to 360 and make sure the feet are an appropriate uh, length apart. So it's a little stiff and robotic, right? So what we do is we go through individually and we just adjust things a little bit. Like this one gets moved forward, this one gets moved backwards. Uh, This arm gets moved way forward. This arm gets moved a little bit forward. And so now, everything's a little bit offset, so we get a little bit more natural. Yeah, good. Good. Is 
Zenith Academy. Again. View lock camera to view. Oh, we're still in pose mode, that's why. All right, two object mode. So let's. camera, lock the camera to 3D, um, actually, what we can do here go to the camera itself and just reset its rotation and no. then just rotate it on the X by 90 and rotate it on the Z by 90. And it still should be tied to this. So now if we look through the camera. Let's get our empty nice and centered. Okay. So now if I rotate the empty, I can move the camera around. So let's do that. Rotate on the Z. Rotate it on the Z by 90. Um, no, by negative 90. Focus it on this guy. And I think what we want to do for this scene is um, Have the, have the camera kind of like move around a little bit. So let's start at 1360 and just hit play. It's too, uh, it's too much. Let's see. Stay at 360. Scale out. This new internet is is magic. 
I've been streaming 1080p, 60 frames per second. High definition. And I haven't dropped a single frame yet. What the? Lippity flop. Incredible. The era of high definition Isaac Anzu is here. <laughs> This is called Word the Training Golem. Word up, Training Golem. Um, is there a modifier we can put on this? Back to 360. I do want a little bit of camera shake. Maybe that means we need to add a modifier. this thing oh it's still got the copy location modifier maybe that is what we want let's change the target Target will now be the tie object. And we're gonna have to reset the <laughs> I mean I didn't mean for it to do that. I think actually, uh, let's get rid of that. Let's grab this and put it on the tie, right? So now it's starting to uh, do that. And I think what we want to do is, is start with a rotation on the Z. And we can make it nice and smooth by just going to the last frame and setting another rotation here. And maybe a little bit of a rotation this way. Now the last thing we want to do, we want to protect, we want to change the color of the area lights. Uh, so let's start at, frame 1360. Start with hue at zero, and then at frame other. So does that work? I want to. Does that work how I wanted to?
It goes from it goes from red to white. That's not what I want. It's like it's changing the saturation, but I want the hue to change. I want that RGB. Or that RGB effect. I think it's because we can't actually do the hue thing. We've got to do it like this. So that sucks. How many, how many points do we have? One, two, uh, three, four, five, six. So we need to divide this up into six, six pieces. Divided up into seven pieces last time. So it's 290 frames divided by six. So if we do about every 50 frames, we'll get it. We'll, we'll be close enough. So 360, we jump to 410. At 410, we want Green to be at 100, red to be at 100. At 460, we want full green. At 510, we want full green and blue. 560. We want just full blue. At 610, we go for blue and red. And then at 1660, we're back to just full red. Okay, let's try that. Beautiful, love it, perfect. All right, add in area light number one. So same thing, but let's do a different, let's do opposite. So this will be blue, yes. Give me a thing. At 410, we take the green out. At 460, uh, we add the red in. At 510, we uh, take the blue out. 
at 560, we add the green in, 1610, take the red out, and 1660, add the blue in. Yes, good. Yes, good. Where is area light number three, actually? Uh, oh, it's just directly above. Okay. Done with this scene, actually. One last thing I need to do is need to select the skeleton, go into pose mode, select the eye, and then we can rotate the eye. And I do want to do some eye rotation while this happens, just to add a little bit more spice to the animation, you know. Let's go back into object mode, hide all our stuff. Um, make this smaller. Look just through the camera and see how that looks. Yes, I dig. Uh, what are my output settings on? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, good, 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 good. X tools landing. Uh, and now we render. And I, I realize that you uh, can't see the render, so let me just... There, we can watch the render together. One frame at a time, it's gonna take a while. So I guess, we chilling? Are we chilling? I think we're chilling. Oh, and look at that. It's almost two hours of streaming. Ugh. I have to say so far, this soundtrack is pretty nice. Let's see, what's the, what's the most replayed section? Encounter Elite? experience this music yet? Is this a music spoiler? Let's see. 
do some analysis on the music. Hello, Crundle. How's it going, Isaac? It is happening. <laughs> um, good to see you, man. Uh, it, it's it's going pretty good. We're we're making making stuff, making progress. We're doing things. Things, things are kind of happening. Um, as you can see, the render process is going on, and we are listening to the Sea of Stars original game soundtrack. Hopefully, because it is a video game soundtrack, it will not trigger DCMA strike copyright shit. That is how video game soundtracks work, right? Like, they just tell Twitch, like, yes, people are allowed to play this on on stream except nintendo apparently the super mario 64 loading screen or, or opening level music is is no longer allowed on twitch like people have been getting strikes on it like are you serious bro are you serious bro hopefully this entire video won't be just out kingdom hearts gets muted for me every time that's because when you walk away, you can't hear them say, please, oh baby, don't go. <laughs> um, but yeah, this soundtrack was recommended by Teddy Deadrat, who is currently playing through the game. I don't know if he's at Encounter Elite yet, uh, but there's a lot of tracks on here. Oh, some of these, some of these, uh, <laughs> some of these track titles might be spoiler. Let's listen to the stingers. Sometimes the stingers are the best part. We have stinger rest. Stinger learned skill. Joins cargo. Joins party. Catch fish. New story unlocked. Key item small. Key item big. Nice. And fanfare. Love that. Oh, there's level up. Level up music. You can tell it's a it's a it's an JRPG because the level up music takes forever. There's so much leveling up to do. Please, Disney, don't sue me. Don't sue. I swear. I'm part of Disney. I'm I'm part of Disney. Yeah, it's me, Goofy. <laughs> I'm I'm in the video game. I'm in the video game. How can you do this to me? We're gonna fight. <laughs> Look at my little guy just dancing here. Oh, I love the psycho chords in the back. <laughs> in, recent, in recent news, local VTuber gets sued by Disney for imitation Goofy voice. It's okay. 
They'll never know because my goofy impression is not that good. Uh, I can do that. Hey, that's a garsh. A garsh, Mickey. Wow. Aw, <laughs> oh, gee, Maxie. Whoa. Uh, I wish I was a better father. <laughs> uh, you know, just normal goofy lines. What's uh, what's the other impressions I can do? Uh, you know, I've been thinking about getting into impressions, right? Uh, let's see. Can I do Mickey? Oh, oh boy! Wow! Here we go, kids! Oh, oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> it's more like Gingerbread Man from from Shrek. Not the gumdrop buttons. <laughs> I want to... Okay, so... Obviously... It's the classic thing, like... Oh, you, you want to get into impressions? What anime character has done impressions recently? Well... Let me tell you... Elizabeth Rose Bloodplane... Has been doing impressions lately. Makes me want to do impressions, too. I, I, but, but, you know, doing fictional characters is a good place to get started, but eventually you want to be able to do impressions of of anything and everything, like, right away. Like, your friends. Do impressions of your friends. Do a Zarkon impression. I don't know if I can. My voice is not that deep. Do a Crundle impression. Good eye, mate. I'm about to get killed. <laughs> I'm, I'm horribly misrepresenting Crundle. <laughs> Do, do New Zealanders also say good eye, Mike? Did I say good eye, Mike? Ooh, that would be a good one. Crocodile on tap. That impression disappoints me. I am in danger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger. That's not true, though. Crundle, you wouldn't hurt me intentionally. Physically, emotionally, maybe. Some of these faces that this this guy is, uh, some of the faces that the guy is making on this on this uh, render here are sus. They're very sussy and intense. What? How do you get so so okay? So here's how you're supposed to do uh, impressions. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Find the find the shortest one. I'll be back. Okay. I'll I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. And then you gotta have your your thing set to uh <coughs> you gotta set your microphone to monitor. I'll be I'll back. back. And then you can listen to yourself. I'll be back. 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 That's not a great, great line for him, though. Let's try get to the chopper. Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Can we just... Arnold Schwarzenegger.
that's that's a, it's a intense video. Dylan, you son of a bitch. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> you son of a bitch. There we go. There we go. Yes. yes. Arnold. Arnold. Um. um. I don't like it down there. Let me be the judge of that. I'm tired of the same old faces, the same old thing. I don't like it down there. Let me be the judge of that. I am tired of the same old faces. That's. That's that's the, That's the voice. Okay. Okay. Why did they Why dub did they over Hercules, Hercules in New York? New York? They dubbed over Arnold's Arnold, glorious Austrian, Austrian voice with some Superman Joe average, average voice. voice. Why? Why? I'm mad. I like it down there. Let me be the judge of that. I Let me be the judge of that. Let me be the judge of that. Let me be the judge of that. Uh. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, OBS monitor. You are too slow. Or are you too fast? Hello. Okay, that's also too fast. I think it's because he couldn't say some of his lines properly. That's no excuse. Let him be the judge of that. <laughs> Let me be the judge of that. Uh, microphone monitor on. Let, let, let me, 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 be the, let me, let me be the judge of that. He's got, he got a bit of a frog in his, in his throat. Let, let me be the judge of that. Judge of that. I am. Let me be the judge of that. Tired of the same old faces. I'm tired of the same old faces. It's Hollywood, it's Hollywood they do with it. That's, true. That's true. Listen, Listen if, I if I had a nickel, had a nickel for every time Hollywood, Hollywood screwed, screwed someone, someone over, over. <laughs> I'd be a flipping millionaire. Hey, the render's done. Two point two seconds of animation. On Creob. Uh, where did that go? That went to the desktop. Yes. Okay. Um, and so now what we can do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open up shotcut. Um, save and close blender. Let's try it again. Get down there. Let me be the judge of that. Let me be the judge of that. I am tired of the same old phrases, the same old things. I don't like it down there. Let me be the judge of. Let me be the judge of that. I'm tired, I'm tired of these same old faces. The same old things. I don't like it down there. Let me be the judge of that. Let me be the judge of that. I am tired of the same old faces. This, I'm tired of the same old faces. What do you think, Crendel? Good impression, or am I am I just shitting all over this man's legacy? What do you think? Uh, Because, because could be could go either way really. Sounds fine. Keep at it. I'm tired. I'm tired of the same old faces. Let me be the judge of that. This microphone monitor is really getting to me. Like it down there. Let me be the judge of that. Let me be the judge of that. 
I'm tired of these same old faces. I am tired of the same old faces. He's got, it's interesting. There are some consonants that he swallows and there are some consonants that he's very clear on. I'm trying to get it down. Down there. Let me be the judge of that. Let me be the judge of that. Gotta embrace your inner Austrian. I live in Germany. I live in Berlin, so I don't know how. Uh, I don't know how they would uh, take to that. All right, line up the audio tracks, and this is. Thirteen sixty. Um, what's wait? What's uh, thirteen sixty divided by twenty four frames? So we're close. Should be at like fifty six seconds. Can I get the timeline by uh Can I get the timeline by um frames on here somehow? I think I can. Sure you can. I am tired of the same old faces. I'm tired of the same old faces. I'm I'm tired of the same old faces. That I am tired of the same down there. Let, Let me, me be the, the judge, judge of that. that. I am Let me be the judge of that. Tired I'm of the same old faces. The same old things. The this the same old things. Sings, right? Sings, sing it for the boys, sing it for the girls. 56 times 24. So at 56 exactly, that's 1344 frames. So we need to go, we need to start this at right here it's so close maybe we start it at 14 from the inside never let him down you gotta bury your pride it's so close 15. It's gotta be here somewhere. The inside. Never let him down. You gotta bury your pride. Yeah, that's the wrong direction. Fifteen. Inside. Never let him down. You gotta bury your pride.
Yeah, so now we can mute the video track. Eventually, we'll have a different animation happening here. And probably here as well. And this is also where we can trim that extra. There's like a frame that we want to cut off of here because it the mouth starts moving a little second too early. You're being exploited. Yeah, perfect. Uh I guess we don't have time for another um I guess we don't have time for another uh animation one animation a stream oh this is going to take a while how many animations do we want though is the real question we've got two let's 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 try to figure it out i think a a, a cheese based one here would make sense then with the the pre-chorus here definitely want a different so that's two definitely a different animation here and I think this could be a long one, like zooming out. Another one here for sure, so that's four. And number five. And that, okay. Five animations. Maybe we could do two next week if we're not fucking distracted as hell. Like it down there. Let me be the judge of that. Let me be the... Let me be the judge of that. I am tired of the same old... I'm tired of the same old places. places. The same old things. The like same old there. things. Let me be the judge of that. I'm tired of the same old faces. The fuck did they do? The same old things. Like it down there. Let, Let me, me be, be the, the judge, judge of that. that. I am I'm tired, tired of, of the, the same, same old places. The, the same, same old things. things. Like it down there. Let me, Let me be, be the, the judge of that. that. I'm tired of the same old faces. The same old things. I do like that. Hello, everybody. 
I want to talk to you today about the rising hate and anti-Semitism we've seen all over the world. Helping people find their strength. This is where the action... His, his accent has faded over time. We find more uh, Hercules in New York, original voice. But you wouldn't like it down there. Let me, me be the, the judge, judge of that. I am I'm tired, tired of the, the same, same old faces. faces. The, the same, same old things. things. Tired or not, you're staying here. My mother may have been a model, but you, sirs, my father, are gods. I will. God, of this man. So good. Discuss this no further. Does this mean I have Zeus's permission to leave? It means you will stay. And I don't wish to hear another word on the subject. I won't stay. You are trying my patience, Hercules. You are trying mine. Heed my words. Nobody will stop me. How dare you address such remarks to your father? What's your name? Hercules. Greek, huh? Very old family. Sir? It's all right. I'm democratic. You're addressing the captain of the ship. Now you say sir to me. I'm Hercules. So you told me. No man is superior to Hercules. <laughs> no man is superior to Hercules. No man is superior to Hercules. Let me be the judge of that. No man is superior to Hercules. No, no man. Ship, now you say sir to me. I'm Hercules. So I'm, you tell me. I am Hercules. No man is superior to Hercules. No man is superior to Hercules. What we need to do is we need to add another video track. Uh, do 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 Whoop. Uh, okay. This is how I do subtitles. We can do subtitles today, you're right? I think if I could keep getting distracted by Hercules in New York, then maybe, maybe not. <laughs> um, we need text on screen. Ah. Um... Yes. So now what I do is we just listen to the song and we subtitle it where we want it. Split the subtitles where we where we need them to be split. And for that, I am I'm gonna pull up um, the lyric file as well. Influential consequential things you want to be Exploited by the fun that you thought you were having A rational distraction Negligence, the devil, and development, malevolent Maintenance and patience make the excesses irrelevant Your soul is null and voided The grind is never ending when you're being exploited Swiss cheese starting to get moldy You full of holes, you think that you're holy Annihilation day is hell of future drawing near If you make it effortless, the things you love will disappear you're addicted to the movement of the progress bar, the scroll bar, the drink bar, to game from the inside. Never let them down, you gotta bury your pride. Serving satisfaction, push down love until it breaks. Amplified procrastination, and the brain disappears. No love, only obligation, forsaking agency for the promise of affection. Conception that the pleasure doesn't happen in a vacuum. Emotional attention they don't teach you in a classroom. Distrust. Stars, 
can get rid of the beginning and ending parts. And then we just go through, copy the lyrics, paste them there. Oop. It takes a while. You're hopelessly influential. Influential, consequential things you want to be. Explode. It's going to take a minute. Oh, wait. How do I embrace my inner Austrian? Okay, so now we go through and check. You're hopelessly so this should come forward. You're hopelessly Scoot you forward, scoot you forward. Influential consequential things you want to be. Consequential things you want to be. Exploded by the fun that you thought you were having. A rational distraction. I missed the line. by the fun that you thought you were having. It takes a while. You're hopelessly influential. Influential consequential things you want to be. Exploded by the fun that you thought you were having. A rational distraction. Give that line a little space. You're hopelessly influential. Influential consequential things you want to be. Exploded by the fun that you thought you were having. A rational distraction. Negligence the devil and development malevolent. Negligence the devil. Negligence the devil and development. I think it might just be that my. Uh... My subtitles are just a couple frames off. Negligence, the devil, and development, malevolent. Maintenance of patience make the excesses irrelevant. Your soul is... Yeah. So what I, what I can do here is... Ahoy! 
Oh boy. Um. How goes? Oh, it goes, it goes well. No, not what I wanted. I was trying to learn the Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, oh, no, don't do this to me. Okay. Whew. Your soul is null and voided. I was trying to learn the Arnold Schwarzenegger accent. Good to the Joppa. We were listening to Hercules in New York, which is like one of his first acting gigs. They actually dubbed over his voice. Uh, they were, I don't know, ashamed, afraid of Austrian. The access is irrelevant. Your soul is null and voided. Awful. Just awful. Your soul is null and voided. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. Okay, good, 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 good. So now what I'm going to do, what is happening at the end here? Delete you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select everything before that. Does the heat wave hit you too? 31 degrees C sucks. Oh, yes, it has. It has hit me. Um, I hate it. So let's see. This is 11. Let's just scooch everything a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's a little cooler today, but oh my goodness. Let me tell you everything that's been happening in my life. In addition to the heat, we also moved to a new apartment. So, so much moving and lifting and pulling and unboxing and rearranging has to be done. And then in addition to that, my stomach was sick yesterday because I think it's because we're, you know, trying new food, eating new food from, from new restaurants and new uh new stores and the the our boy blue our sweet baby boy blue is also feeling a little sick he's he's nervous about things moving and uh like <laughs> um we're dealing with some insurance stuff again so we we are actually like <laughs> it's weird to say it but as of Monday, as of this coming Monday, I will officially be thousands of dollars in credit card debt. Oh boy. <laughs> but not yet, not yet. Yeah, you gotta bury your pride. Yeah. How about that? The world is a tough cookie, huh? Yeah, you gotta bury your pride. My pupper's not taking the heat well. I think this is her hottest summers yet. No, poor baby. Yeah. And it's definitely tough um, on dogs because you got to like 
take him out on walks and stuff so you can't just hang out inside. Like, at least cats get to hang out inside. I mean, the bad part is that in Germany, there's no air conditioning. But... Uh, it do it do suck, although in Canada there's not a whole lot of air conditioning either. I remember that. Good. We'll just do a little bit of uh, these subtitles because. Uh, they are very labor intensive. So, you hopelessly influential, consequential things you. So now let's just clean it up. You hopelessly influential, consequential things you want to be exploited by the fun that you thought you were having. A rational distraction. So on a rational distraction, we can change the font, right? We can make it some, some wild font. She's been sick a bit today and has been eating. She's still acting like herself, so I hope it's just the heat. Oh, yeah, Blue got sick today, too. It's really not good. A rational distraction. Negligence, the devil, and development, malevolent. We don't need commas when the actual line breaks. She's definitely a winter dog. She loses it in the snow. <gasps> Baby. <laughs> Negligence, the Me devil, too. Development, malevolent. Maintenance of patience. Relatable. Is irrelevant. Your soul is null. Avoid it. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. Actually, Kena, there was something that I've been thinking about asking you if you're up for an art project. Um, obviously, obviously, if you're if you're not up for an art project, then you shouldn't do it. But I wanted to ask if you were. Where's where's like a fucked up font? Give me a super fucked up font. Give me a, a, a absolutely destroyable font. Who asks Satan? I mean, that's pretty good. Can we make it bigger? Yes. Happen. A rational distraction. Font color. Red. Happen. A rational distraction. Negligence, the devil, and development, malevolent. Maintenance of patience make the excesses irrelevant. Your soul is null. Avoided. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. Swiss cheese. What did you have in mind? Should I message on Discord instead? Um, we can talk more on Discord, but essentially, I was thinking that. This business suit arc, this uh, incorporation nation, Isaac Anzu, that is all about business and money. Uh, I think I think it's soon to be over. I think I think we're we're getting close to being done with business Isaac. And I was thinking about what sort of theme or arc I wanted to do next. And you know, somebody suggested punk rock. And I'm like, oh, actually, yes, that sounds amazing. Um, but the thing is, and I did this earlier on stream, but I'll do it again. Like the suit, it's an overlay, right? So I don't, I for a suit, it's easy. There's so many pictures of dudes in suits that I can just go online find a picture of a dude in a suit 
and you know squish it around in gimp until it 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 lays over the isaac model perfectly right um i can even do let me uh let me show you like i can even do the entire body model because the pose that i'm in is just it's pretty generic. Uh, let's see if I can do this here. Yeah. You. Uh, so as you can see, like full body model, no problem. Zoop. Um, but for punk rock, I get the feeling that there's not a whole lot of pictures of punk rock dudes standing <laughs> in a, a casual pose, right? So what I would want is I would want an overlay that fits perfectly on top of my model so I don't have to like worry about it, right? Uh, but the thing is, it wouldn't just be a suit. You would also want it to include like eyeliner, earrings, maybe like horn, horn like like a, a spiky collar but on one of the horns right a lip ring right true punk rock true punk rocky style rock and um i was thinking i need an artist to, to do it and if you're interested if you're up for it uh i was thinking that you would be an excellent artist for that it's like a transparent png that you can place on top of your model exactly exactly um what's that stage circus no Oh, that's pretty good. Stamp act. Okay. Um, okay, that's fine. So yeah, let's change all these to stamp act. And of course, feel free to, to say no if you are busy or if that is outside of your artistic wheelhouse. But you were the first person I thought of when I'm like, you can definitely try and message me when you can. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, will, I will send you some details and timeline and stuff like that. If anything, we can work on a sketch for an actual clothing artist or something. That would be cool. That would be awesome. Uh, okay. So next up. Oh. Wrong one. Got to make sure I'm selecting the right clip and my cursor is on the right thing. Serving satisfaction. Push that love until it breaks. Amplify. Procrastination. So now it looks like this.
Ooh, maybe we could do like. Rotate uh, 180 degrees. A little, a little further down, I think. And thank you for the hydrate and stretch. I actually need that pretty bad. Ah, uh, but yeah, it's supposed to be a little cooler today, so Ugh, I'm gonna open up the windows and try to try to chill the place out. Good, 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 good. This is why we export the clips from Blender and then put them in here. Oh, excuse me. So it's easier to mix the clips together and also add interesting subtitles. You're hopelessly influential. Influential consequential things you want to be. Exploded by the fun that you thought you were having. A rational distraction. Negligence, the devil, and development, malevolent. Maintenance and patience make the excesses irrelevant. Your soul is null and voided. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. Swiss cheese. Negligence, the devil, and I think this section needs to be scooched as well. So let's. It. Just a couple frames. Rational distraction. Negligence, the devil, and development, malevolent. Maintenance and patience make the excesses irrelevant. Your soul is null and voided. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. Swiss cheese. Woo! It's working! Now this is pod racing. <laughs> you're hopelessly animal. And the other thing we can do is apply global video effects. So that bum, 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 bum. So what we can do here is clip this, right? Clip this, add a filter to it. Let's see. Um, glitch. Yeah, but not not that. Not that crazy. So maybe frequency down. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Block height down, shift intensity down, color intensity. So not that. Now maybe we do color intensity up. Influential consequential things you want to be exploded by the fun that you thought you were having. A rational distraction. Yeah, that needs that needs its own thing as well. So let's split here. And split here. And figure out what filter we want to put on here. <laughs> Nervous. Sharpen. Amount, 
Um, copy. Paste, paste, paste. A rational distraction. Negligence. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. Maybe nervous is what I'm looking for. A rational distraction. A rational distraction. No, that's not it either. What am I looking for? Wave. A rational distraction. Negligence the devil. Kind of. A rational distraction. Negligence. A rational distraction. It looks kind of silly, doesn't it? A rational distraction. Speed too high. A rational distraction. Negligent. Bigger amplitude. A rational distraction. Negli no, that's not right either. I don't just want to do the glitch again, but the glitch is pretty good. Invert colors, maybe? A rational distraction. No, it's so fucking bright. We can't do that. The poor... The poor epileptic people will destroy them. <laughs> I uh, maybe trails is right. A rational distraction. Give me a lot more trails. Happen. A rational distraction. Uh, that I think is it. That I think is it. So, so what I want to do now is, um, find the spot where it cuts. Can I not? Um, I can. A rational distraction. Negligence the devil and devil. Yeah, and then stopping it there, I think, is good. But maybe we can do even more frames. Happen. A rational distraction. That's a cool transition now. Or is it? I don't know if I like this here. A rational distraction. More frames? A rational distraction. A rational distraction. Negligent. That's pretty good, actually. A rational distraction. Negligence, the devil, and development, malevolent. Maintenance of patience make the excesses irrelevant. Your soul is null. Avoided. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. Should we make being exploited a different font, too? I think so. Um... <laughs> You clown. Uh, ba -doo -ba -doo. <gasps> Being exploited. 
I do have the unknown font. It's cute. Oh my God, it's way too small. Why is it so small? Why is it so small? Oh, now everything's small. Size, size, uh, Size big, please. Oh, I do like this one. Can we make it as big as possible and then it'll fit? Soul, it's null, avoided. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. And then we can change the font to that red color too. Thought you were having a rational distraction. Negligence, the devil, and development, malevolent. Maintenance and patience make the excesses irrelevant. Your soul is null, avoided. The grind is never ending when you're being exploited. Yes, good. Now, on this one, we also can have some trippy effects going on. And I really like the. Um, the one we used last time, trails. Good, good, good. Maybe we want another one on here. RGB shift. Oh, wait, that's kind of sick, isn't it? Okay. So we have like a third of this done. We have two clips. We need five more clips, but I think the last one is also going to be in this office setting. So next time we will work on the last office setting clip and then a new one. I have some ideas like when I'm talking about Swiss cheese, obviously we want to have some like food references. Addicted to the movement of the progress bar, the scroll bar, the drink bar. Like, those are such clear visual images that we can kind of use them, right? In this one, I want it to be kind of like a spiritual thing, right? Like, let's have our guy take on some religious poses and iconography. Inside, never let down. You gotta bury your 
And that one I do have an idea for. I want to do one where like we're seeing like pistachios like kind of like scrolling onto screen, cracking open, scrolling onto screen, cracking open, and then the last pistachio scrolls the screen, cracks open, and it's the guy's face talking. Makes sense? Makes sense to me. And then we'll come back to the library for this last section. I got some ideas. Maybe we can do them all next time. <gasps> but I think this is a good spot. And especially considering we went this entire high definition stream without dropping a single frame. Holy schmoly! Holy shit, Taki mushrooms. Uh, now, we are going to raid someone who's not a VTuber. Gasp! Betrayal! But um, he is a good friend. I write Sprite. Uh, so let's go say hi. Let's bring the crew over. And if you're still in chat, hit him with that Chimera raid raid message. Uh, I'm so I'm so used to saying, hey Dolu, anything else you want to say? Hey Isaac, anything else you want to say? Uh yes. Dolu and I are going to be back uh this weekend doing a super awesome Elden Ring co-op stream. Maybe the highest definition, smoothest running co-op stream of my life. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> anyway, that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining. My name's Isaac Anzu. If you're still in chat, grab that raid message and let's go have a good time. Over at Pirate Sprite, he's playing Seven Days to Die. I know nothing about this game, but he's playing no main base nomadic playstyle, which honestly... Kind of sick, kind of slick. I like that for a survival horror game if it gives you that option. Minecraft does not give you that option. It's all I'm going to say. Anyway, thank you so much for joining. My name is Isaac Anzu. Good night. Sleep tight. And don't let those Bitcoins bite. Until next time, farewell. Farewell.